In the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. Whatever there is in the heavens glorifies Allah, and whatever there is in the earth, and He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. To Him belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He gives life and brings death, and He has power over all things. He is the first and the last, the manifest and the hidden, and He has knowledge of all things. It is He who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then settled on the throne. He knows whatever enters the earth, and whatever emerges from it, and whatever descends from the sky, and whatever ascends to it. And He is with you wherever you may be, and Allah sees best what you do. To Him belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and to Allah all matters are returned. He makes the night pass into the day, and makes the day pass into the night, and He knows best what is in the breasts. Have faith in Allah and His Apostle, and spend out of that wherein He has made you successors. Those of you who have faith and spend in Allah's way, there is a great reward for them. Why should you not have faith in Allah, while the Apostle invites you to have faith in your Lord, and He has certainly made a covenant with you, should you be faithful? It is He who sends down manifest signs to His servant, that He may bring you out of darkness into light, and indeed Allah is most kind and merciful to you. Why should you not spend in the way of Allah, while to Allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth? Not equal to others are those of you who spent and fought before the victory. They are greater in rank than those who have spent and fought afterwards. Yet Allah has promised the best reward to each, and Allah is well aware of what you do. Who is it that will lend Allah a good loan, that he may multiply it for him, and that there may be a noble reward for him? The day you will see the faithful, men and women, with their light moving swiftly before them and on their right, and greeted with the words, There is good news for you today, gardens with streams running in them, to remain in them forever. That is the great success. The day the hypocrites, men and women, will say to the faithful, Please let up on us, that we may glean something from your light. They will be told, Go back and grope for light. Then there will be set up between them a wall with a gate, with mercy on its interior, and punishment toward its exterior. They will call out to them, Did we not used to be with you? They will say, Yes, but you cast yourselves into temptation, and you awaited, and were doubtful. And false hopes deceived you until the edict of Allah arrived, and the deceiver deceived you concerning Allah. So today no ransom shall be taken from you, nor from the faithless. The fire will be your abode. It is your ultimate refuge and an evil destination. Is it not time yet for those who have faith that their hearts should be humbled for Allah's remembrance and to the truth which has come down to them and to be not like those who were given the book before? Time took its toll on them and so their hearts were hardened and many of them are transgressors. Know that Allah revives the earth after its death. We have certainly made the signs clear for you so that you may apply reason. Indeed, the charitable men and charitable women and those who lend Allah a good loan, it shall be multiplied for them, and there is a noble reward for them. Those who have faith in Allah and His apostles, it is they who are the truthful and the witnesses with their Lord. They shall have their reward and their light. But as for those who are faithless and deny our signs, they shall be the inmates of hell. Know that the life of this world is just play and diversion and glitter and mutual vainglory among you and covetousness for wealth and children. Like the rain whose vegetation impresses the farmer, then it withers and you see it turn yellow, then it becomes chaff, while in the hereafter there is a severe punishment and forgiveness from Allah and His pleasure, and the life of this world is nothing but the wares of delusion. Take the lead towards forgiveness from your Lord, and a paradise as vast as the heavens and the earth, prepared for those who have faith in Allah and His apostles. That is Allah's grace, which He grants to whomever He wishes, and Allah is dispenser of a great grace. No affliction visits the earth or yourselves, but it is in a book before we bring it about. That is indeed easy for Allah. 
so that you may not grieve for what escapes you, nor exult for what comes your way, and Allah does not like any swaggering braggart. Such as are themselves stingy, and bid other people to be stingy, and whoever refuses to comply should know that, indeed Allah is the All-Sufficient, the All-Laudable. Certainly we sent our apostles with manifest proofs, and we sent down with them the book and the balance, so that mankind may maintain justice, and we sent down iron, in which there is great might and uses for mankind, and so that Allah may know those who help him and his apostles in their absence. Indeed Allah is all strong, almighty. Certainly we sent Noah and Abraham, and we ordained among their descendants prophethood and the book. Some of them are rightly guided, and many of them are transgressors. Then we followed them up with our apostles, and we followed them with Jesus, son of Mary, and we gave him the evangel, and we put in the hearts of those who followed him kindness and mercy. But as for monasticism, they innovated it. We had not prescribed it for them, only seeking Allah's pleasure. Yet they did not observe it with due observance. So we gave to the faithful among them their due reward. But many of them are transgressors. O you who have faith, be wary of Allah and have faith in his apostle. He will grant you a double share of his mercy and give you a light to walk by and forgive you. And Allah is all forgiving, all merciful. So that the people of the book may know that they have no power over anything of Allah's grace, and that all grace is in Allah's hand, which He grants to whomever He wishes, and Allah is dispenser of a great